Hey guys, I'm looking at back here for another video, guys. Real fast, before I begin this video, I want to say I am running a double giveaway. A Deion Sanders and a Calvin Johnson. There will be a little eye icon in the right-hand corner. Click on that to go to the video to see how to enter the giveaway. Now, I did not say in the giveaway when the giveaway was ending. It's ending at the end of this month. It's ending at 228. So, February 28th, I will be going ahead and announcing the winner. So, I want to give some time, you know... For people to enter this giveaway, but not too much time because I didn't want to, you know, be stressed out too long. So I decided just to do it for this month. With that in mind, let's get started. So guys, welcome back to the episode of my daily sniping series. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is going to be what will the rest of month look like now that everything is going crazy all at once this month. So obviously, we had the replay promo. We had, you know, the other promos. All released this month, and we still have positional heroes and combines coming out. So, what will the rest of the month look like with that in mind? So, what I kind of figure the rest of the month will look like this year, it will be a lot of the replay promo, but with different type of cards. And what I mean by that is, we should see a lot of you know 92s, 93s, 94s. I feel like coming out over the next couple months, which is kind of surprising because this is when uh, you know Mutt's supposed to be OP. But I just don't see it being like that this year. And you see the 99s overalls that are released now. They don't look that OP. I mean, some of them do. Ricky Jackson does. But Dwight Clark, you know, Nick Foles, they don't, these guys don't look like the typical 99s we've seen in the past. So with that in mind, it just seems like I don't know if they're diminishing the overalls at this year than it was in previous years. But definitely, I know stats matter more, they said. So that's pretty much why we're seeing lower overalls and these legend cards are so <laughs> the market for them is so dead uh but again i don't know if that's why that's probably why you know we're not seeing as op cards but it seems like until you know still going on now we're seeing like you know 96 overalls being the highest released um you know 95 not 95 sorry 92s 93s 90s so I kind of feel like that's the direction EA wants to go in. And it makes sense because in order to make this game last as long as humanly possible, they need to stop with the 99 overall cards, the crazy OP cards. Because what ends up happening is if they go ahead and keep releasing them, people quit mutt. People will start, stop playing this game if it becomes, if it gets to a point where, you know, these new OP cards come out and the only way to get them is pretty much spend money and that's pretty much it like people are going to quit mutt for that people will continue to play mutt i feel like and a lot of people will still like mutt if it's what it is right now where it's like it's not op cards but they're all promos that you can open up packs and spend money to go ahead and get you don't have to pull this 99 of all card you can go ahead and pull some cards and go ahead and complete the sets just like again like the replay promo this replay promo is not about you know getting this op card it's you buy this bundle right here and you can most likely have a chance to complete the set and get a free night or not free but a 96 of wall player by going ahead and open up a bundle that's what people i feel like a lot of people like they don't like the promos that you know it's like a, a 99 of all pack of players in packs you have to pull packs to get him I feel like that's why EA is, is waiting so long to push this. And, of course, this is going to be a thing for probably the rest of the month. This replay promo. We have the boss battles that are coming out for the rest of the month. We have Ultimate Legends. So, it's going to be quite interesting to see how EA pushes the rest of the year. But this is seeming to be what it's going to be like. It's going to be this type of, you know, replay promo where there's a lot of lower overall cards. Where a lot of cards you might not get, or, you know, might not have really high overall cards are going to start getting cards like Julius Thomas I don't think he had a high overall card the whole entire year he gets a 90 this is what I think EA is going to start going in the direction of so for example instead of giving you know a 97 overall 99 or a 99 another 99 they're just going to go ahead and say all right you know what that Spencer Ware guy he doesn't have a card so we're going to give him another card instead of giving someone a 99 because that makes it less OP and that makes people continue to play. So they're just going to go back and be like, all right, well, you know, I don't know, but Sean Perryman doesn't have a good card. We're going to give him a card. We're going to give, you know, Jared Cook a card. And I feel like that's what this year is going to come to is we're going to keep going to that point of we're going to get these lower overall cards. So everyone gets a card pretty much. But it stops it from becoming too OP to a point where people just stop playing. So, 
I don't know. I mean, in previous years, this time of the year has been when it gets broken OP, but it might not be the case this year. We have to wait and see. Now, we all really early into this. It is only February. We still have, you know, March, April, May, June, July when everything breaks, but... I know every year EA tries to push the envelope as far as humanly possible to stop OP cards from coming out. Obviously, there's also a deadline on that too. I mean, they can't forever push the envelope and say, we're not going to release OP cards because eventually you have to. Like, eventually it's like, what about that other, you know, 99 Odell Beckham coming out? It's like, well, we're not going to release that. You, you have to release, you know, you have to eventually go to OP status, but... But right now, they're going to try to push it as long as humanly possible, I feel like. And again, I know we're early, but I'm just saying this is what I feel like the direction we're going in in Mutt. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.